Hey everybody. The last one was actually Video Journal 18. This is Video Journal 19. Again, it is Sunday, July 31st, about 1 o'clock. I'll be going to a rehearsal soon because we're up tomorrow. And I'd like to talk about now the process so far. Um, we've been quiet with the journal entries for the last couple of weeks simply because we have been so, so involved in the production and, and I have a deadline for the actual novel with the with Queen Anne and and her advisor. So I have been focusing on my writing and my art and and also enjoying the cast. One of the wonderful attributes of a production is the ability to bond with other performers in a way that goes beyond real friendships. And it's very possible that we may never see each other again after this production. However, there's a special connection because we're all so connected. And if, if that doesn't occur, usually the production is not very good. I believe that the production with the assistance of Queen Anne rocks. The script, which I wrote, and in all modesty, has really developed into a brilliant piece of work. Brilliant work, excuse me. And it has depth beyond what, beyond what one would expect from a one-act play. It delves into the emotions of a writer a young, upcoming writer, student, a troubled young man, and it also focuses on a queen, forgotten queen, who comes alive to help these two gentlemen get through what could, could, could conceivably be considered a crisis or a wonderful, wonderful heightening experience. And they do, with the assistance of Queen Anne. So right now I'd like to talk about briefly about the production. We have had a lot of rehearsals. Now we're no longer rehearsing in my studio, which is 407 Rugby Road, which is the headquarters of Pride Not Prejudice because of the, the depth of the space. We do not want to be in a smaller space. We want to be in a space that matches the, the Hudson Guild Theater and stage, excuse me. And so that's what we're doing today. We're going to rehearsal. Now we got incredible feedback as we made the semifinals. Um, from what we heard, the audience was da dazzled and words that were used were awesome, brilliant, incredible, fabulous. Um, I did get some criticism and we're going to work on today. The director promised me to address some of the issues that occurred. Our kiss scene was not as good as it should be. Um, so he is going to uh, work on that today. And, um, and that's fine. So we need to do that. It, I'm nervous and excited and happy. Madeline Lodge, the um, actress playing Queen Anne, excelled. The audience, audience was dazzled by her ability at such a young age to conquer the stage with the, her incredible accent, which has evolved to almost perfection because it, it, it definitely captures a monarchal woman in strife, educated. Queens in that era were educated. They knew many languages. They had the information we have today given to them. It's funny. We, we take for granted with television knowledge and, and newspapers and in the ease of, of, of information coming to us now. In that time, it wasn't so. If you weren't, you wouldn't know what the next county was if you were living in a small town because you didn't focus on that. You didn't have any reason to understand it unless you were the milkman and had to deliver milk there. That's what life... Life then was so limited, but the queen, her life was not limited. She had staffs of people. So that brilliance emanates from Madeline Lodge. And you must see her. She steals the stage. She is on stage the entire time, as David and Evan write about her. And Evan, played by Orlando Luciano, is absolutely incredible and he works so hard he is such a gifted young actor that he but he had to be honed and he had to be tamed and and he he has really stood up and faced the challenge and did it um, and I'm Rick Muller I'm I play play um, David Belkin now I've been told by many I was good but some my close friends gave me some criticism and I need to, to, uh, need to basically express my emotions a little stronger because they felt I was restrained. And they, they know my work as an actor, and they wanted me to be better. So I'm working on that today. I spent hours talking to the director about it, and I'm going to work on it a little bit now. 
Anyway, please come to my show with the assistance of Queen Anne and come to the, the festival. Van Dirk Fisher has done an incredible job. This one is the best that, that has ever been. The shows are consummate, the consummate works of professionals. Or if that's not grammatically correct, they, they are works performed by consummate professionals. So let's, let's do that. Let's come and see the show. Again, you can come to any of the semifinals, but my show, with the assistance of Queen Anne, will be up Monday night at 9 o'clock at the Hudson Guild Theater, 441 West 26th Street. Come and see incredible work and support a project that allows artists to flourish and be the best that they can be. Rick Muller, signing out.